hi everyone just orientate you a little bit this is whoopsie sue's journal adventures here oh, i'm gonna do something um i've played with these before but because i got a humongous box of them at scrap creative <laughs> i'm gonna play with them again um so i'm thinking about making embellishments and i kind of like the idea of using these as like a little frame i think you did see me on one of my videos um create like a little clock i had a tiny little clock face and then i put some um crystal accents in it so number one if you don't have oh i can't think of the word sorry my brain's on a go slow today um if you don't have washers go and raid your husband's shed or toolbox or your partner's shed if they haven't got any washers slap them around it and send them to the shop <laughs> no seriously if they don't have washers you can use card um so i'm using washers i'm using nail art little flowers just decorations and i'm using glossy accents so you might be sat there thinking well i don't have any nail art okay hang on one minute oh no cat's sat on it okay never mind <laughs> Okay, so if you don't have nail art, look through your magazines. If you've got a picture of a garden and it's showing you loads of plants in the garden, just isolate the really, really teeny tiny ones like that with a, a punch. Just isolate or even just cut them out like that. Just two teeny little flowers. Can you see that? Two teeny little flowers there. You can get pictures. I've got the magazines, but they're over there. And the cat is laid on a blanket on the magazines fast asleep. So <laughs> if you haven't got little nail art flowers or flower stickers or whatever, don't worry about it. Just use something cut out of a magazine tiny well i suppose i'm saying tiny but it depends on the size of your washer really these are pretty tiny um but the hole in the middle is big because these hmm, these are a bit bigger washer but they've got a smaller hole so i couldn't really put a picture in them but these are cool now then glossy accents what if you don't have glossy accents you can use resin if you have resin I don't know if this is the same kind of thing. I don't know. But anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you haven't got this, you can use clear nail varnish, clear glue. Um, oh, I haven't played with this since last night. I've not put my pin in it. <gasps> Naughty girl. Um, yeah, so you can use clear glue because clear glue is just going to dry clear. Okay, so you can use clear glue. You could use, I think you could probably use PVA glue. Does PVA, PVA glue dries clear, doesn't it? Um, you can use glossy accents. You can use clear nail varnish. Or if you've got UV gel nail varnish, like shellac or something like that, that you put under um, a machine, you can use the clear nail varnish on that as well. So what am I using? Well, I'm using a couple of these washers and i'm going to use a piece of card now then i did have i haven't got it now but i did have it's gone um i've got a really small punch i have no idea what size this is i think that's a one inch that's smaller and that's even smaller <laughs> i don't know the size i'm really sorry but if you've got a punch the size of your you could just draw um, the size of this and put a full backing on it I'm just putting a backing a small backing on it so I'm just going to get some coffee dyed card I think we'll do four I think four's enough because my battery is very low and I'm very aware that my phone may just conk on me at any moment so I've got four little pieces of card oh somehow I've got five must have been one stuck in there so I've got four little tiny pieces of card Shall I bring you down? Because this is a bit intricate in it. You don't want to be all the way up there. So I've got washers. I've got nail art. I've got, this is, I don't know what this is, crushed something or other. It's not glass. It's, I don't know if it's metal. I don't know what it is, but it's nail art. 
This is nail art stickers. These are nail art stickers. Anything small, but you don't need nail art. Like I say, you can just cut out little pictures from gardening magazines, gardening books, magazines, calendars. If you've got like a landscape picture and there's daisies or, I don't know, daffodils or something, you could probably isolate small images. So you don't need the nail art. You don't need the resin. And you don't really need the washers because... Um, you can punch them out yourself. So if you've got two punches of different sizes, just punch a big hole out and then punch a smaller hole out of the middle. And you've got something that looks like a washer or a reinforcement ring type thing. If you're gonna do it with card, I would probably layer up several, several pieces so it's a bit thicker, a bit more substance to it. If you're using a washer, then it's already thick and already quite sturdy. But if you're going to make your, like a reinforcement ring out of card, then I, I would, yeah, layer a few. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the glue that I've left overnight with no pin in it. Naughty, naughty. I was just making um, bases again yesterday. Tag bases and ATC card bases. And I think this does feel a little bit kind of gloopy. But anyway, we'll see if it works. If it don't come out, it, well, we know it's gloopy, don't we? So I've got these little back bits, which are literally going to be my back bits. Ooh, that's not coming out. Um, I think we might have a problem, Houston. Let's just have a look what's going on in here. Oh, yes, we've got a blobby. We've got a blobsicle. A bit of a blobsicle and a lot of blobsiness. Right, so, um, yeah, I was going to do a video yesterday and then I never got round to it. Um, so here I am. Here I am making little embellishments. So I'm just going to put, oh, if it'll come out, a blob of glue on each of these. If it's a sticker, like a little nail art sticker, you kind of don't really need as much glue. But I'm just going to put some on anyway. I could do with my tweezers. Oh, yes, I could. I could do with my tweezers. Because you're going to get glue on your finger. And everything's going to stick to you. Here it is. Oh, like I said. <laughs> where's, where's that going? Um, right, tweezers, tweezers. Oops, so sorry. So sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, smack you in the head. I've lost my tweezers. Is that a tweezer? No, that's not a tweezer. Three pairs of tweezers in here. Come on. Give me some. Give me... Nope, that's a ball tool. Tweezers. They'll... they'll they're weird. Anyway, they'll do. So, I need a little flower because my glue's drying. So, I've got some teeny little flowers in here. I'm just going to pick one out and plop it right there on that blob of glue. Okay, then I am going to take some of these. I can't see. Oh, can I put light on? I can't see any. It's written that made the absolute zero difference. Um, I'm going to take some of these and blob them. Oh, that will good. I've got all the one piece. Just going to blob some of that. Oh. Blob some of them in the middle and they drop everywhere but in the middle. That happened to me the other day. They went everywhere but where I wanted them to go. Preferably in the glue would be rather nice. I don't know what these are. They are weird. They're like, it's not glass. Um, I don't know if it's broken bits of metal or... I really don't know what it is but they are for nail art. But anyway... It, that's them. And I think I got them on um, she, Sheen. Yeah, Sheen. Okay, so that's that. Just push that down a bit so it sticks. Oopsie, forgot about glue on there. <laughs> and on this one, so I've used, um, I've used a nail art that's not sticky. They're ones you just drop into your nail varnish. Now I'm going to use one that is sticky. Shall we do a blue one? Pink one wants to come off. 
and then we'll do the pink one. Do it with that. So, yeah, these are not good tweezers. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that one down on there. Hope you can see me. Can you see me? Okay. I can't see because the thing's right in the way. Let me see what you can see. Oh, you can't see right lot, can you? Is that better? So I'm, I've got another nail art here. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm just going to stick that also to that. I still can't see what you can see. <laughs> I can see that. That's all I can see on my screen. Um, so I've done them. What I'm going to do now, I don't know why I'm putting my glue away because I need it, but I think I'll use the, the big one because uh, this isn't working too good. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back of my washer and hopefully get enough glue on and just stick it over this little thing that I've just made. Yeah. Just stick it on. Now it's only going to pick up the very edges of the paper because my circle is quite small. Whoops. But it does stick. Okay. So I'm just going to stick them down. The washers. And, um, and then I'm going to carry on. <laughs> so here we go. Stick this one down. So these are just little embellishments. I would stick these on a page. I might stick two or three on a pocket. Whoopsie. I might oh, you flip over. I might, <laughs> I might stick two or three on a pocket. They're just all wanting to stick to me at the minute. Um, or I might, you could even put them all the way down the edge of a page. You could make some wonderful and crazy decorations with these. But like I say, you don't need washers. So don't sit here thinking, oh, she's got washers, she's got nail art, she's got glossy accents. I ain't got any of them things. Because we can always improvise and use other things. Clear nail varnish will work just as well. As will probably clear glue. I don't see why it wouldn't work. I have no idea what you can see here, guys. I can't, all I can see is that there and that there. <laughs> And right where I'm working is by the cradle. So I don't know if you can even see. I hope you can see. Otherwise, it's a very boring video. Whoops. Right, I'm just going to stick that over there. Get on. Get on the paper card. So I've just used coffee dyed card to cut my little rings out of. So if you were doing this with punched circles, you could punch a small circle and then punch your bigger circle round it. Layer about three or four of them up to make it thicker and then just punch one bit for the middle so it's a bit sunken, if you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. So you'd have it sunken inside like these are. Just trying to get them to not stick to the um, mat, which they are sticking to the mat. So let's get you pressed down and then lifted up and away from that glue. Preferably. Oh, for goodness sake. He says, no, I just want to stick to the mat. Well, can you get over there where there's no glue and stick to that, please? Thank you. There we go. So we've got them. I don't even know where that went then. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come along with my glossy accents. Now, I did make some of these before. Um, pin, just in case. This one's blocked. There's a pin up there. There's a pin. It should be okay. But it did have a little blockage the other day. Now, what you need to watch for with this stuff is bubbles. Because I made some the other day and I got a bit of a bubble in it. And yeah, it made it look a bit of a mess. Right, let me bring you over here. Can you see me? Yes, you can. So I'm just, I'm just, I don't think, to be honest, you need loads of this stuff. But I like to fill it to the rim. Because it does kind of flatten out, I've found. When I've been making stuff with it, it kind of 
flattens down. I did some um, circles the other day with flowers cut out of a magazine and I tried to do it like a cabochon, a bit raised, but then when I looked at them, they were flat. So I do, I am doming it a little bit. I probably, I think you probably don't even need this much, to be honest. Um, it's not something I've used a lot in crystal accents, so I'm not 100% sure. Now, at the minute, <laughs> they don't exactly look very exciting. You're like, wow, why have you done that, So That's like, they just look cloudy and uh, like nothing. Yep, absolutely. They look cloudy and like nothing. So, they need to dry now. So... Thankfully, I made some the other day and I used some of these little dried flowers. These are really teeny tiny dried flowers. Again, I think these were from Sheen or AliExpress or somewhere, but they are really tiny dried flowers and they are, they are real. But they don't like the resin stuff because, <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't go too well. The flowers <laughs> they just kind of went into a, a bit of a oh and that's that's not all flower that's that's the flower they kind no that's not the flower where's the flower did i only do one i could have sworn i did two hang on one two three four five i should have six of these things i'm guessing the cats knocked them somewhere Oh well, never mind. There is a sixth. Whoopsie, now some stuff's gone on the floor. So this is the tiny dried flower. Didn't go very well. Um, yeah, <laughs> it just looks like a mushy mess. So that's why I haven't put a dried flower in these. We've got fake flowers, nail art. Um, so the nail art is these with the glossy accents on. So they actually, how can you see, they are glazed. And they're kind of pretty, and I think, well, a few of them down the edge of a page, or if you're making, say, a tag or something, and you're putting a few of them down, they look really cute. I'll show you again, close up. There, the nail art. So as I say, you can do this with um, nail varnish put them over there and then this one I tried <laughs> I tried a little nail heart nail art heart so the little hearts and the iridescent they shine all different colors but unfortunately that you can see the heart but I had some bubbles in my glossy accent so it actually just looks a mess <laughs> it's not that great you can see the sheen on that heart but um, yeah, that's that didn't work. So and then this one is those these crushed whatever it is nail art stuff. Um, if you key in nail art on Sheen, you'll probably find this stuff. They have bits of abalone shell and all sorts of things. Um, and that's let me just get it so you can see it. That's that one which looks quite pretty with the glossy accents on it and it obviously keeps it in place. Don't look at my nasty nails. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's it really. So until they're dry, it's just a waiting game and I'm scared to leave them on the desk because the cats at the moment are thinking my desk is their new abode and they keep nicking off with my desk and my chair. So not great. So you can see there, that's the one with these things in doesn't look that great at the minute but that's what it comes out like oh that one nice you could see it in the light then the light's awful in this corner i really need to get another lamp the problem is where to stand it <laughs> don't have anywhere to put it and because that's off to the side the camera actually gives me um shade so like there you can't see it but there you can catch the light and it looks pretty cool. So that's it. That's all it is. Just using things in your house. Go raid your husband's toolbox and nick all his washers. <laughs> no, I don't endorse you stealing from your husband. Um, But yeah, if you've got, have a look around your shed. Because it's amazing. The things that we have in our home that we wouldn't dream of normally putting on a card or crafting with. 
that you can actually craft with. And as I've got rather a lot of these, I'm constantly trying to think up new ways to use them. So this was one of them, is to make them like a little decoration. Um, they almost look like a button, don't they, really? Like a little button. Um, but yeah, I like the glossy accents. I'm I'm quite new at glossy accent stuff. I've only used it a few times, but it's quite cool. I like it. So, yeah. Like I say, if you don't have it, don't go out and buy it. Use clear nail varnish. Use clear glue. Clear glue will dry the same. Um, it won't be raised, but this... Well, this doesn't raise because they aren't raised and I filled them up to the top. Oops, sorry. I filled them up to the top, but they're not raised. They, they've kind of flattened off. So, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I wonder, I wonder, hmm, I wonder. Oh, I should have tried it, shouldn't I? I wonder if they work with um, glitter glue. Hmm. Shall we try one? I'll try one, but I can't obviously show you it dry because, well, I can't. <laughs> because I don't really think you want to sit here for about three or four hours waiting for something to dry and me just sat here twiddling my thumbs. So, oh, this glue's been a bit of a beggar today. Come on. Right, I've got some glue. What am I even putting on here? If I put a flower and I put glitter glue, it's just going to cover the flower up, isn't it? Well, do you know what? There's that old saying, isn't there? You never know until you try. So let's try and see if glitter glue works. Because I suppose if, you know, you could use glitter nail varnish, maybe. Um, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? To give them a glittery effect. I suppose if you're using something plainish, and pick it up now you could um, use a glittery effect nail varnish and if you just want coloured instead of putting anything in there just put your piece of card in and just put coloured nail varnish in just put a coloured blob in there and then you're in effect making like little coloured buttons kind of sort of things I don't know what you call them decorations that's what you'd call them right just make sure you're not stuck to there so i'm going to put some glitter glue in obviously you're not going to see it dry but i will put it on the thumbnail at the end so i will put them four done and i'll put this one to the side so you can see if it worked or if it was a mm -mm, like like them really squelchy mushy flowers that really really did it looks awful. I've got the middle bit and then all the petals have just kind of gone. <laughs> I think the nail art flower <clears throat> sticker is actually better. That's nice. So <clears throat> got to try new things, girls. You know, we just try new things. That's what it's about. So I'm going to bang some glitter glue in here. I have got the feeling that this is just going to... Oh, that looks so pretty. I've just got the feeling that this is just going to, I don't know, just look like a, a glitter glue blob with not being able to see the flower. But even if it dries like that, that's fine. Even if that is all I get, that glittery prettiness, then that's fine. You can't see me flower, but hang on. I've got a hole in this corner. I've got a hole there. Let me fill that in kind of want it level there we go so that's it for now that's just a very quick little video on using washers if you haven't got washers punch card nail art if you haven't got nail art cut flowers out of magazines just isolate really tiny little portions of a big picture um and if you haven't got crystal accents try glitter glue if that don't work try clear glue if that don't work try nail varnish <laughs> So you should still be able to make these anyway, regardless. Hope you've enjoyed that little um, soiree into washers. Oh, look at all them, man. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. 
I'm still thinking. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for washing. What washing? What is washers? I've got washing on the brain now. Washers washing. Thank you for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed that. I will see you again soon with something a little bit more exciting. See you soon. Bye.